The announcement Afghanistan has been waiting for for almost a month. Preliminary results from the country's August 20 presidential elections have finally been released, giving incumbent leader Hamid Karzai a winning 54.6 percent of votes. In the preliminary results, President Karzai is in the lead. But the elections are far from over. Independent observers like the European Union are reporting voting irregularities at thousands of polling stations across the country. The allegations have thrown the legitimacy of President Karzai's lead into doubt. We have calculated 1.5 million suspicious slash fraudulent votes. Out of them, 1.1 million is for candidate Karzai. 300,000 for candidate Abdullah. The UN-backed Electoral Complaints Commission is investigating hundreds of allegations of fraud. It has warned that thousands of votes could be cancelled or recounted, potentially slashing President Karzai's lead over his nearest competitor Abdullah Abdullah. Official results will only be released once investigations are complete, and that could take weeks. While many are becoming restless with the process, observers are calling for all complaints to be examined seriously. For those people who came out and showed uh, willingness to vote for the election, it would be so hard for them to make them come back and to stand on lines and queues to, to vote again uh, if we are not able to address these allegations of fraud. But time is running out. A runoff between President Karzai and Abdullah is still possible if no candidate scores more than 50 percent of the vote. With winter approaching fast, authorities would only have a month to organize a second round. <laughs>